Maybe. Well, good morning, West Michigan. We are looking at some of our most adorable guests that we've had so far during Art Prize of 2017. Yes, we are shining the spotlight on our friends at Pause with the Cause. We're here with Mary Blade. Mary, remind everyone at home about this great organization. Good morning. Pause with the Cause is a local West Michigan organization that trains service dogs for people with disabilities, bringing them greater independence. And so what about uh, the work of those uh, people who are the puppy raisers? Puppy raisers. Tell me what they do. This is a very important job. We lay the foundation for the future assistance dogs. So we are responsible for basic obedience training and exposure out in public so that they're used to different situations they might encounter. And so what's the time commitment? How long does a, a family or an individual keep that puppy before returning it to pause with the cause? It's about a year's commitment. I would say our puppies come to us at about eight weeks and they go in for their formal training between 12 and 14 months of age. Who's the ideal candidate to be one of these volunteers? Well, it takes a big heart. It's, it is a difficult thing to say goodbye, but we have to remember that puppy raising is not about giving up. It's about giving. So we're raising these dogs to help somebody in the future. And it seems like for a lot of people who maybe love the puppy stage, that's a great commitment for them to think about making. It is. But the other volunteer opportunity that we have as a pause dog volunteer is to host one of our breeding females or male dogs. So that way you get the fun of that litter of puppies when they're so cute. Um, and then they go off to their new homes and then you have your dog back for a while until okay. next time. And so let's talk about um, once an individual finally gets a trained, a fully trained dog, it seems like it's life transforming for someone with some sort of a special need or disability. Absolutely. And it's a, it's a benefit for their family members as well, not worrying about their family member, their loved one when they're home by themselves. But the dogs can do great, great independence for people through service tasks, through hearing um, tasks and seizure response and also we have a program for children with autism so we we hit a lot of the disabilities that are out there what's the geographic area of someone who maybe wants to be a puppy raiser do they have to live in immediate west michigan area or or what is the uh, or in the immediate kent county area no we have puppy raisers all over the state and we have um, puppy clubs that meet as well as our classes that are given um, at our headquarters near wayland so you don't have to go very far to go to training classes and be a part of a wonderful group of people like the raisers we have here i just wanted to let you know between the raisers that are represented here today we probably have raised about 65 puppies between this group that you see wow. and where do the dogs end up going they go all over the country we're a national organization so they're placed um, all over the united states and if people are interested in getting more information i know you have a fabulous website yes we do thank you www.pausewiththecause.org and we're looking for pause dog volunteers. Yeah, it is terrific. Thank you so much, Mary, and to the great work that you do. And boy, these uh, cute little faces, just can't get enough of them here on this very chilly Saturday morning.